Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look at the new improvements that Microsoft is making available with Windows 11 build 22000.120 in the dev and beta channels. This is another small update but it does include several new visual changes for the desktop experience, file explorer, Microsoft store and other areas of the experience. So here are the new changes available on Windows 11 build 22000.120. So let's start with the new family widget which is this one right here for Microsoft accounts that allows you to view recent activities for members of your family group in the widget interface. I don't have it set up because I don't use that feature, a family group set up on your Microsoft account online. The activities of your members will show up in this area. If you don't see this widget, you can always add it by clicking this button and then just choosing the family safety option. If you don't need this widget, simply click the more options menu and select the remove widget option. In the uh, taskbar experience, now the chat button includes support for batch notifications as you can see right here. When hovering over an app, you will now see an improved or like a redesigned close button that aligns better with the design. And when using the alt plus tab keyboard shortcut or you open task view, or you're using Snap Assist, you will find that the previews for the open apps will do a better use of the space. Also, when using desktops and you want to change the background for a specific desktop, now the settings app will force to move to the desktop where you invoked the background settings. So as you saw, now we're in the second desktop and now the settings app is is in this desktop, but if I go back to the previous desktop, it's not longer in here. On Windows 10 build 22000.120, File Explorer also includes a few new tweaks, including, including a more compact context menu when using the mouse, as you can see right here. So the menu no longer takes a lot more real estate on the screen. Also, you will find a new, new button in the command bar that allows you to more easily view and select items that you want to create like folder, shortcut, text document, and more. In the past, as you can see right here, there was a direct access to create a new folder and there was a menu to access different options, but it was more difficult to use. As you can see, the options were nested. So you have extra steps to get to the options that you want, but now it has been simplified. Also, the Microsoft Store app is getting an update and there are just a few things that Microsoft is doing in this update. And one is the auto scroll for content in the main page. As you can see, after a few seconds, it will scroll to the next page. And then when you go to a game, for example, the page has been updated to include more information and image about the game. Also for apps that, that you own or the ones you want to leave a review and let's say uh, remote desktop. You will now find that the uh, rate and review dialog box has been updated to make it more simple to submit your review and rating. And that's pretty much all that's new with Windows 10 build 22000.120. But before I finish this video, I just wanted to point out a few other features that were previously introduced but then removed and now they're back in recent builds. And one specific that I noticed recently that I never seen before. So the first one that I wanted to point out is the feature on network and internet and then when you go to a network connection you will now see that we have a, an authentication setting that allows you to set up the IEEE 802.1x authentication. Uh, this is not something that home users will use all the time, but on businesses, sometimes it requires to have some sort of a trust before the computer can connect even into the network. So you will set up that feature right here. This is not new to Windows 11, but the option inside of the settings app, it's new. The other feature that I wanted to point out that it's new to Windows 11, but not new for insiders because Microsoft already introduced it and then removed it and now it's back 
is the uh, cleanup recommendations. So basically this feature has been designed to automate the process of identifying content that it can help you free up hard drive space on the computer. Uh, this is part of the storage settings and it automatically detects and displays the amount of data that Windows 11 can reclaim by deleting certain large or unused files and it will also recommend apps that you don't use and can be deleted to reclaim space and it will also tell you files that have been already synced to the cloud and you can delete them from your computer. So the recommendations will be different uh, per computer and per situation. So for example, in this case, the recommendation is to delete everything in the recycle bin and the temporary Windows International files. And these are the I'm use applications that I can actually delete to reclaim some space on the computer. And the last feature that I wanted to point out that is part of the Windows 11 development, it's called Archive Apps. Uh, we've seen this before. Microsoft took it out from the preview builds and now it's back. And it basically, it's a way to archive the apps that you don't use automatically to save a space and bandwidth on your computer. And then the next time that you need the app, you can just open the app and it will download from the Microsoft Store and the full version will be hydrated again. And so you can use it. This feature is off by default, but you can come to this page to enable it. And that's it. Those were all the changes and features that you can find on Windows 11 build 22,000.120. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.